As early as March 2023 at the 7th China Aviation Innovation and Entrepreneurship Competition, Zhang Yong, project leader of the China Aviation Development Aviation Materials Institute, said that the Turbofan 15 has already realized mass production and has already begun to be installed. As of now, the Turbofan 15 should be China's officially recognized, strongest, fighter aircraft airframe. However, there are always many people pouring cold water on it, saying that the Turbofan 15 is only equivalent to the technology of the United States 30 years ago. So how good is the Turbofan 15? To a certain extent, this statement is correct, but also wrong. It is correct because the core of the Turbofan 15, such as the core engine technology, is indeed equivalent to the US technology level of 30 years ago. Say it is wrong because the Turbofan 15 and many non-core technology has caught up with the United States now level. In fact, the Turbofan 15 and the core technology to reach the United States 30 years ago technology level is justifiable because the human aircraft engine core technology in the last 30 years itself is almost stagnant. The core structure of the engine is just a few looks over and over again and the development to the end is very different. This is just like the shape of the car to the development of today. Almost all the same, far less than the last century is a variety of flowers. Therefore, not to mention that China's technology is only at the level of the United States 30 years ago. Even the United States itself is only at the level of its own technology 30 years ago. In this context, the hope that through the development of the core engine technology, so as to enhance the engine performance indicators, has become an almost impossible thing. This is the most typical case is the F-35 fighter aircraft and F-22 fighter aircraft engine. F-35 fighter aircraft F-135 turbofan engine is used in the F-22 fighter aircraft F-119 turbofan engine on the basis of the development of the F-135 engine. The F-135 has more thrust, but this is traded off by increasing the airframe's inclusion ratio. In the case of more thrust in the airframe, the F-135 airframe has worse performance at high altitudes and high speeds and can't allow the F-35 to have faster speeds. The fastest development of the core aircraft technology, the most obvious stage of technological progress, undoubtedly from the turbojet development to turbofan, this stage. In the last century, the United States used F-4 fighters, China used J-7, J-8 fighters with the turbojet engine. However, the fuel consumption of turbojet engine is too high, which is not conducive to the design of large-range warplanes. So from the 70S to 80S of last century, the West is shifting from turbojet engine to turbofan engine. China also started to develop its own turbofan engine after the project of J-10 fighter, and the result is the current turbofan 10 aircraft engine. However, after the turbofan engine became the mainstream in the core engine technology, we also roll to the end, the technical level for decades difficult to appear revolutionary progress. In the future, we have to make progress in the core machine technology. We can only hope that the progress of materials science, if the engine's core components can use more advanced materials, such as the core of the fan blade of the use of tougher and more heat resistant materials, then the core will be able to withstand higher temperatures. The entire aero engine can run faster, the engine will be able to output more thrust. However, progress in materials science is time consuming and labor intensive, and there are marginal effects. Aero engine materials will also fall into the situation of more and more investment, less and less results. As for the non core technology of the aircraft development, it is mainly the aircraft on board sensors and so on. In the US aircraft core machine technology for 30 years without much progress, the US roll up the level of information technology of the aircraft by installing more electronic equipment on the aircraft so that the aircraft has more functions. For example, the installation of a variety of sensors on the aircraft engine, allowing the rear command to understand the situation of the engine in real time. This is also of great use in actual combat. For example, in a high-intensity air battle, a warplane's engine malfunctioned. The rear command will be able to use the sensors on the aircraft engine to know what place has failed. This way, when the fighter jet lands, the ground crew can start maintenance on the airframe directly without having to spend a lot of time checking the airframe to see where the fault lies. This could drastically reduce the maintenance time of the airframes and improve the turnout rate of the fighters in high-intensity wars. China's Turbofan 15 
was developed at a time when China's electronic technology was developing at its fastest pace, and the level of information technology on it is undoubtedly advanced and can easily reach the world's advanced level. Therefore, the statement that the turbofan 15 has only reached the level of the United States 30 years ago only applies to the engine technology that has been developed to the point where it is almost impossible to develop it any further. As for those technologies that can still be developed, the turbofan 15 can reach the world's advanced level. It is worth mentioning that both China and the United States are coincidentally targeting the next generation aero engine. In August 2022, China's FB1 Continuous Rotation Explosion Engine successfully completed ground ignition. By the end of December 2024, a netizen photographed a suspected drone test flight equipped with a Vibrus's engine. Netizen rumor suspected of shock explosive motors test. If this drone really installed shock explosive motors, that shows that China in the relevant technology has come to the forefront of the world level. Currently, the technology shown by China is more advanced than that shown by the United States. If the Vibro explosive engine can be used in warplanes, it can overcome the problem of turbofan engines that can't work properly in high-altitude oxygen-deficient environments. And the Vibro explosive engine will also allow the warplane to have a faster speed, as well as a smaller amount of fuel consumption. This will allow the warplane to gain a great deal of speed, flight altitude, range and other aspects. Of course, the United States also has its own next-generation aero engine. In October 2020, the U.S. next-generation aero engine, variable cycle engine EXA100 successfully completed the ignition test. Compared with the traditional turbofan engine, the variable cycle engine also has a great technical advantage, which can make the range of the warplane greatly improved. However, China has also researched on the variable cycle engine only the progress is not as fast as the United States.